I'm going to do my budget for October the 19th through the 25th. This one I had to do three different times. And the problem was that I kept having to move bills around that could be moved around. Because um, when I first started this new contract and we went up under a new employer, when they first gave us our first check, they did not take insurance out. So we got the first check with no insurance. The second check came, they took insurance out. Now, they come back with an email to us telling us that they needed to take out insurance for the first check because they didn't take out our insurance. So, what they did was split it up in two. So, I had a, a extra hundred and something dollars coming out of this check, which meant I had to move around some bills because I would not be able to pay my bills on, pay what I had on my last budget with that amount that they were taking out. So, I moved around some bills. This check and next check, I will have an extra hundred and some dollars coming out, which sucks. Um, and I was expecting it, but the money that I, the extra money that I got on that first check, I could not put aside because I was the only one that was working and we were living off of that in unemployment and I just needed that to pay some extra bills. So I'm taking the blow now, which is fine. I've worked everything out. So this week I budgeted the car payment at $369.89, a loan at $126.47, and then Best Buy at $125, which is a total of $621.36. So for my cash envelopes, the only ones that I'm filling this week is grocery, lunch, and gas. I've taken out $75 for grocery, um, which 20 of that might roll over into another envelope, like the eating out envelope, because I do have some money left over in my envelope, $20. Um, lunch I've taken out a hundred and gas I've taken out 15 and 50 of it will stay in the bank so my husband can swipe for his gas. My total estimated budget is income for this week $919.68 minus the $621.36 and minus the cash envelopes which is $240. That leaves a difference of $58.32. This week I decided that I'm going to put a few goals in there and the first goal is it's going to be a no spend week with the exception of what I budgeted as far as groceries, lunch, gas and um, I do have extra eating out money that was left over from last week and I'm taking $20 from here to put into my eating out envelope. I'm going to focus on the end result which means that I'm not going to worry about not having enough money to pay the bills that I did have that I did want to pay this week. I'm just going to worry about the final results as far as making sure that all my bills get paid and making sure that I'm still able to put money aside and pay off debt in the end. I'm going to sell some items around the house. I'm going to donate some coats to a local church. I have some coats that was given to me from work and then I have coats that I went through here at home and I'm getting rid of them and instead of giving them to the Goodwill or a thrift store or something like that, I want to donate them where I know they're going to hand them to someone and not make someone pay for them. The next thing that I want to focus on is organizing my mind, which means I need to get focused on what my main objective is, and that is to pay off bills, get my student loan paid off, my car paid off, and my mortgage um, paid off. So and I need to do more meditating because I have a bad habit of, I have a whole bunch of things in my mind at one time, and I spread myself thin because I work on more than one project at a time. So I need to focus on that. The last thing I need to do is repurpose what I have. And that just means um, my fall clothes. Uh, I'm working on my boss room, which is my filming room and my office, different things like that. So I need to use what I have around the house instead of going buy more items. So that is my goals for this week. and. Actually, it's the goals for the rest of the month. That is all for this week's budget, guys. And we are going to move on to the cash envelopes. Now we're going to fill the cash envelopes. Um, I'm only filling the grocery, the gas, the lunch money, and I have my eating out from last week that I'm going to show you how much I have left. And I will probably take $20 that I have budgeted for groceries and put in here because I have grocery money left. So I used all the gas money. I have 5, 10, 15, 20. I have $20 left in the grocery money.
And in eating out, I have 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42 in eating out. And my lunch money, I think I have and I have seven dollars left in my eating money from last week and I did not spend that on eating out I spent it on um, I got the grandbaby a couple of Christmas gifts and I um, used some of it on thrifting so I got out $190 this week That's 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, and 20s, 10, 20, and 10s, and two fives, ten dollars. So we are going to start with the gas money, which is fifteen dollars, and the other fifty stayed in the bank for my husband to swipe his card. Then we have grocery. I have 75 budgeted, 20, 40, 60. 75 but I am going to take 20 of that and put in my eating money because I still have the 20 left so that still gives me twenty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five 50 55 60 65 70 75 in grocery money which we bought meat last week so I really don't need meat Just things like canned goods and fruit and vegetables so I'm going to take that 20 and I'm going to put in my eating out money, which gives me, it gives me 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62. Um, and this will feed us for maybe one day. There's three of us that when we eat out, I buy for. And usually our, it depends on where we go, our meals run anywhere from 26 to 40 dollars so it just depends on where we go how many meals we get out of this so I'm gonna put that aside and then we have our lunch money which is 20 40 60 for my husband and 40 for me and I will put his 60 in my wallet until I give it to him this afternoon I'll put my 40 in with my seven dollars which leaves me 47 dollars and that's really all of my cash envelopes this week guys short and sweet um next week i will fill more envelopes this week i didn't have the money in the budget too so i feel what was necessary or what i felt was necessary because eating out is not necessary but um i didn't need anything else like household or anything like that so that's why i put it in the eating out budget we um normally don't eat out except for on um usually fridays and saturdays every once in a while Sundays but most of the time we eat out we eat during the week and we'll eat out on the weekend so so that's all of my um, budget videos for this week guys please like share and subscribe and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye guys